Central Oregon is absolutely blowing up and it's quickly becoming one of the fastest growing areas in the entire state of Oregon. People are moving here left and right and one of the most common questions I'm getting is about the differences in Redmond versus Bend. And that goes from the cost of living, the lifestyles, literally everything you can imagine. So in this video, I'm gonna break down everything you need to know, what it's like living in Redmond versus Bend and why you might consider one or the other. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Before we jump in, my name is Brett Williams. I'm a realtor with the Real Agent Now Group, and we specialize helping people move and relocate to Oregon all over the place. Uh, whether that's Portland, Salem, the Portland metro area, or Central Oregon, we've got your back and moving here. Pretty much every day we're getting calls, emails, texts, uh, people that are looking for, to relocate from Florida to Bend to Portland, it does not matter. So if you have any questions or thoughts about moving, please make sure to hit me up. Here's my contact info right here. Um, call, direct, text, um, as well as down below in the description. And you can reach out whenever, weekends, night. Without further ado, let's actually jump into this video. And I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this. You're gonna get a lot of value if you're thinking about moving or deciding between Bend and Redmond. Um, so hopefully I can answer a lot of questions for you guys. All right, so we're now in the part portion of the video where I'm gonna jump right in and kind of talk about the key differences between Bend and Redmond. Um, if you're watching this video, chances are you've had to do a lot of research to get here and you've really narrowed down your options to the Central Oregon area between Bend and Redmond, the two kind of major hubs. Um, so in this video, my goal is to really break down the cost of living, um, the lifestyle differences, uh, geographically where you are, commutes, pretty much anything you would need to know. Um, I'm gonna give you the best I know. I'm gonna give you statistics. So my goal for this is give you guys a ton of value and really just give uh, an unbiased view into living in Bend versus Redmond. I'm gonna give you the realities of both um, and a little bit of pros and cons. So if you are thinking about moving to Bend or Redmond, this video is gonna hopefully really help you guys. Um, but first thing we're gonna jump into is the cost of living and the geographical location. Okay, so jumping right into the cost of living differences between Bend and Redmond, we're gonna talk about uh, purchasing a home. And I think that's gonna be your largest asset. That's probably what you guys are wondering the most about. Um, so I'm gonna give you kind of my perspective as well as kind of the statistics. So starting off of the statistics pulling from July 2020, which is last month from when this video was taken, um, the average home that sold on the market was $537,000. Um, so on a national scale, that's a 64 out of 100 in terms of national home prices. Um, and on top of that, we're looking at about $270 per square foot, um, depending on what area in Bend you are. So um, in Bend, that's, that price is going up. I think that's up 13% from last year. Um, we're in a heavy seller's market. Uh, a lot of homes going into multiple offers, but because interest rates are so low, we're having a huge influx of buyers that are trying to escape the city. I don't blame them, Bend's amazing. So it's great for everyone. Uh, stuff's going on rapidly. There's a lot of new development being built up here in Bend all over. Um, comparatively though, you have Redmond and Redmond is kind of a, a separate market in its own. It's about 15 miles north of Bend. You're looking at 25 to 30 minute drive uh, depending on the side of the town you're in. So I'm looking at the data here. Uh, the average home price that sold in Redmond was $354,000, uh, same as been last month, July 2020. Uh, you're looking at about $215, uh, the price per square foot in Redmond. Uh, you see a lot of three bed, two bath, really well kept newer homes, either built by uh, Hayden, you got some polished homes, there's a lot of new development going up over there, but stuff is quickly going off the shelf. Uh, we're seeing a lot of different price ranges. You can get that You can get that 300 all the way up to uh, 800,000. You can see pretty much everything in between there, um, but the market's crazy. So for being 25 minutes from Bend, depending on where your job is, you kind of have to weigh the benefits. Do you want to, do you want to save the extra money? get a really nice home. Uh, it's a more affordable price point if maybe it's your first home. Redmond's gonna be your spot. I mean, 25 minute commute isn't bad. You're just gonna hop on 97, shoot your way down to Bend and you're there. Um, on top of that, in terms of weather, you're looking at a little bit less snow than Bend is. Uh, so that's always a plus, depending on if you like driving in snow or not. Um, but you don't have as many amenities as Bend does. Bend has a ton of restaurant options. It's got most of the jobs here. Um, you've got a ton of recreation stuff right in your backyard. 
Uh, but both series are really awesome. So now I've kind of foreshadowed it already, but I'm gonna talk about the last style differences now. So in both cities, Bend and Redmond, you're gonna have more established neighborhoods. But right now I'm seeing a huge influx of new development in Redmond and new development communities that are popping up all over the place. There's townhouse, condos, single family, um, and a lot of good builders are out there. You have Hayden, you have Hayden Homes, which is one of my favorite in the state. You have Polish, another one of the best in the state. Um, Polish's headquarters are here in Bend. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of really cool listings pop up and a lot of people uh, find similarities in the home structure, um, the plans, the builds. They're all pretty similar compared to Bend versus Redmond. Um, sizing differs a little bit, lot size differs a little bit. It all depends on community, um, but that's why I kind of try and help um, establish those differences between those two. But overall, the reason Bend is so uh, so much more expensive in terms of buying a home is uh, just because it's growing so much. There's a ton of demand and you're right at the doorstep. I mean, you're in some cases you can be five to 10 minutes away from everything. Whereas Redmond, you might be a little bit farther out, but if that's what you're looking for and you don't want to be in all the hustle bustle, the downtown area, the old mill areas, um, it could be a really good alternative and it's going to be more affordable for your first time home buyers or anyone um, to have a small community in a, a growing area that isn't too big yet. So moving on from the uh, the cost of living as well as the lifestyle differences, we're going to talk about population. So if you want that small town feel and less traffic, you're going to want to go to Redmond. Redmond has that uh, 30 to 40,000 uh, person population. It's a lot more approachable if you enjoy that small town feel, a little bit larger lot size, Redmond's going to be a place. Um, it doesn't have all of the hustle bustle Bend has with the amount of tourism we get. Um, ben has a ton of tourism and it's kind of a hot spot so people come from all over pretty much every season of the year. Um, Redmond doesn't have as much, it doesn't get as much as the hype as Ben does but it's just as beautiful um, and so if you're looking for that smaller town feel, Redmond's going to be it. Bend on the other hand, and I've talked about this before, has a population of just over 100,000 um, so it's a relatively large city. Um, but really it's not too bad. I would say you're kind of seeing more development taking place now on the outskirts of town, which you can expect. Um, but Bend has the Morehouse Bustle, where Redmond is a little bit more laid back. And uh, the farther you go out that way, the more laid back it's gonna get. So I think it's a really cool uh, situation to have the opportunity to pick. Because really a 15, 20 minute to 20, 30 minute drive isn't that bad, especially considering you're gonna save quite a bit of money. Um, but the amenities of Bend are hard to find in Redmond. A lot of people like Bend because everything's close, it's easy to get to, there's tons of things to do. The restaurants, the shopping, everything you can eat is in Bend. Redmond has that just on a smaller scale. So I really think the main differences between Bend and Redmond, one, the housing costs. So if you're looking for a more affordable price, Redmond's gonna be your place. Um, and two, I think the people that like Bend are those who are a little bit farther along in terms of um, they know exactly where they want to be. They know what side of town they want to be in. And really they're just looking for their dream home or they're trying to escape the big cities, the LA's, the Seattle, San Fran. And we're seeing a lot of that and we don't blame them for that. Um, and so we, we try to essentially cater to everyone's personal needs to the best ability. Um, and, and ultimately we see a lot of really good pros and cons between Ben and Radman, depending on their personal case. So if you're kind of in between and if you have any more additional questions of the two, make sure to hit me up. Here's my contact info here down below. I'll do my best. Um, like I was saying, any additional things that I don't think people consider that much are one, um, the weather. So Redmond is actually going to be a little bit sunnier as well as a little bit drier than Bend. So that's nice. It's not a huge difference, but it has it. Uh, Bend is a little bit more snow. I think it has seven or eight more inches per year on average than Redmond does. Um, along with that, it's going to have the uh, a, a more uh, a melting pot of different people from all over the place, whereas Redmond is probably a little bit more local. So there's probably people that lived it and they've been their whole lives. Um, they realized it got too big. They wanted to go somewhere smaller. They're in Redmond now. 
um, or they were looking for more affordable pricing over there. But either way, that's what I see a lot of, and I think you kind of have to weigh your options. There's a lot of people that are from the Bay Area or Seattle, and they've met a lot of friends that have that in common with them here in Bend. Um, and Redmond has a lot of uh, people that are, are both, but a lot of people that were raised in Bend are living in the shore and whole life, and that's just where they, they still live. Um, either way, really nice people. Oregon has super nice people overall. Um, but everyone's really, uh, everyone loves Central Oregon. No matter where you live, you're really only 15 to 30 minutes away from each other. Um, and so pretty often you see people coming down from Redmond for work or just for Friday, Saturday nights. They want to enjoy the city. That's what they do. So the lifestyle really isn't too big, just that price difference. Um, depending on the kind of lifestyle that you want to live, that's what I would consider. Um, um, either asking more about or just looking at it yourself um, as well as kind of like what's available on the market. So wrapping this video up, I really hope this kind of gives you um, a face-to-face -face or verbal uh, communication of kind of my thoughts on Finn, Finn versus Redmond. That kind of wraps up this video. I really hope it gave you a lot of value. Like I said before, please feel free to hit me up if you have any questions. My contact info is right here um, as well as down below. And I'll do my best to get right back to you and really start our uh, relationship and get this thing going. I know you guys are probably really excited to move to either of these cities. Uh, both are great and expect to have more vlog tour videos of each. Uh, I had to take a, a few week break on this channel between postings, but I'm back on schedule and I have stuff planned. So I really hope you guys enjoy uh, this video. If you have any questions, shoot them at me. Once again, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you got a lot of value of this and I'll catch you in the next video.